I enjoy abstraction because it does universalize the imagery. Uh, it, it allows each viewer to see themselves or see mankind in general or their neighbor, whoever, whoever they want to see. medium, which is hot wax, dry pigment, and varnish mixed together and applied hot. Because I love texture, and it's almost a, it almost incorporates sculpture and three-dimensionality. Colors really reflect uh, psychological moods, so I feel like whether I know it or not, whatever color I'm using is a self-portrait, so to speak, uh, of what I'm feeling that particular day or that month. And while I realize that's happening, I also do consciously try not to let color rule a painting. I enjoy, uh, I enjoy color, but I don't want to be thought of as a colorist. I, I don't, I don't think that's mainly what I'm dealing with. One of the things I'm trying to convey is that everything in the world is made of the same kind of stuff. Um, people, trees, uh, rocks, the clouds. If you abstract them a little, they all, to me, they all start to look the same. And, and I, I suppose I try to portray that in my work. Well, I judge the success of a painting when I'm watching someone look at it by how long they stand there and look at it. The longer a person looks at a painting, I feel the more successful it is. Whether they, it's evoking positive or negative feelings, I, I don't know. But if they're standing there looking at it, it's reached out and, and grabbed them. And, and I feel that's, uh, to me, that's a successful painting. My whole life, I've had the desire to draw and paint. Uh, it could be that some people are better at visual things, some people are better at verbal things, some people write. I guess I'm, I'm the kind of person that expresses myself best in a visual way.